Hey guys, so there was an issue with my recording here with this. Uh, I'm actually going to show you how to do this very quickly. So just the knife thing works. Uh, it's the same thing with the knife thing. So just, I don't know, just add, just make the flaps with the knife thing. You should be good to go. So now you can do mesh cylinder here and rotate this 90 degrees on X and Y axis. Right click and shade smooth. So click smooth. Then go here. And here you can go into edit mode. Click B and start, I don't know, start shaping this. This is going to be shaped like this. On this the top and for the bottom I'm not, I'm not so sure so I might actually have to grab this out a bit and go here oh well it's just there um, grab this in the z-axis up here this guy too look right this and then scale this down on the Z axis. Actually, before doing that, add a few loop cuts so everything's good. Everything's okay. And basically, you just have to model your. Model this uh, according to the shape. So add loop cuts and scale this on the X axis. Like this, then same here. Like that, and add a loop cut here, like this. Add one more here. Uh, okay. Do the same thing here. Keep doing this. And the CN and another loop cut. Um, seems that we've just managed to get the shape uh, on the top. No, it's not going on the top, so let's click on B. So, like this, um, time to shape this here. Here, have a rough estimation on how this is going to be because the blueprint kind of limits us a bit here. It's going to be slightly bigger than here. Okay, so this looks okay for now. Um, of course, in your for you guys, you have to put a bit more effort for this. It doesn't look as good. I'll be honest, uh, it doesn't look as good as my expectations. Basically, what I might do is, okay, this makes sense. So, I haven't modeled this correctly. Yeah, so, God. There we go. So, okay, it looks just just okay. Um, doesn't look so good. But uh, yeah, 
to connect this with your wing what you might need to do is it should be connected already but if it's not just um go here click on just select your cylinder three whatever it's called and bring it up from the z-axis to see this it should be anchored automatically it's actually just Oh my god, so annoying. Shut up. Okay, like this and just GX and then just go up here. Okay, yeah. Yeah, this one I'm actually not so sure. I might do another tutorial on this one because I'm not really happy with the result. Um, but yeah, this is how you could do it. So yeah, um, this is how you do your flaps and your whatever that thing's called. I forgot. So yeah, thank you so much for watching guys, um, the next video is going to be on how to, this is going to be a clean up, so better ways to do a few things on your plane, etc. Okay, so yeah, see ya.